So uh, in the last uh, few days of uh, May we actually had on the sneakers app an upload which is not a collaboration and of course it's not very hype and apparently it's still available now on the sneakers app and I'm referring to the Nike Air Max 97. <music> and welcome back for a brand new review if you are new to the channel please make sure you're gonna subscribe you can also give me a follow on instagram to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at another color combination for the nike air max 97 which uh, apparently is still available on the sneakers app so let's go ahead and also take them out of the box which as you can see will come in your normal box in this red color with the nike swoosh and the lettering in this white color so let's go ahead and take them out so in today's video guys uh, we're gonna have a look at this nike air max 97 metallic silver Even though guys uh, we have this one on the market for a few years now uh, we are still receiving every now and then uh, a new color combination which uh, will also use some new materials as well and uh, for my surprise this one uh, I will need to admit that it's actually bringing some very nice and buttery uh, suede uh, materials which of course will be paired with your usual uh, mesh which you always get in the Air Max 97 so this one it's still available on the sneakers app for the retail price of 165 pounds and this one was uploaded as I've said earlier uh, in the last uh, week of May so let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys so as you can see covering the front part of the turbo section we're gonna have this uh, gray uh, suede which will actually be present uh, for the rest of the shoe so this uh, gray suede will actually sit uh, on top of this uh, silver mesh and it, it will create uh, your very well known uh, pattern for the Nike Air Max 97 which in my opinion it's still a very interesting and good looking shoe but as we go now uh, to the actual lacing system guys uh, we're gonna have uh, this uh, loop style one which will actually sit uh, just uh, behind this uh, leather material so this one really feels that it's very undercover as in for the actual laces we're gonna have this uh, round silvery ones but just in case uh, you don't like these uh, shoelaces uh, in the actual box Nike is providing us with a second pair of laces in this white color so you can just swap them over quite easily and of course guys underneath these laces we're gonna have this uh, mesh uh, tongue which will actually have a very good amount of padding and this one it's actually quite soft but as we go now in the midfoot guys you can see that we're gonna have some uh, very uh, hard mesh here on the lateral and also on the medial side which on top of it will have this small black Nike swoosh which to be honest uh, I kind of like it this one it's not gonna be too big but now as you go inside guys uh, we're gonna have this uh, black lining which uh, it's one, not one of my favorite materials this one it's exactly like the one used in the towels which underneath will have your normal uh, padding so this one will keep your uh, whole anchor and keel section quite good in place and of course at the bottom we're also gonna have this uh, black uh, foam insole with the white swoosh imprinted here at the heel section and of course uh, at the back of the shoe we're also gonna have this uh, very long uh, pull tab which will have written air max on top of it and this one will use the same uh, 3m reflective material as the one used here at the tongue and now guys uh, we can go to this uh, rubber outsole which uh, will have a full length uh, air sole unit so this one most definitely it's one of the most iconic uh, air sole units uh, in the world which if i'm not mistaken was introduced back in 1987 as a trial and uh, since then it actually uh, stayed on the market and it improved every year 
So this air sole unit as you can see will be in this uh, dark uh, color which uh, you'll need to admit that it's not one of the softest in the world and I guess the more you're gonna wear this one uh, the more comfortable it will become. And now guys uh, we can finish with this uh, black and white rubber outsole which will have your normal pattern as the previous uh, Air Max is uh, 97 so nothing changed here as in for the actual sizing guys uh, for this one I went with my uh, true to size and uh, for me as I have a skinny fit this one fits me just fine and I guess it will be roughly the same for people with uh, normal fit but just in case you have wider fit I would suggest you to go with a half size up and that will be mainly because this shoe at least here at the front part of the shoe is not gonna be too wide so most definitely that will be a problem for you so so overall guys uh, this uh, new uh, color for the Nike Air Max 97 in my opinion it looks uh, quite good and it uses very good materials and I'm referring of course to this uh, very nice and buttery suede in this uh, grey color which of course will sit on this uh, very iconic mesh which is used uh, in almost all of these uh, Air Max's uh, 97 and even though uh, this one it's uh, still uh, using the same design uh, as uh, the original one released back in 97 it really looks quite good and uh, in case you don't like this uh, color combination or uh, the rest which they are still available on the Nike website you can just go and customize it in the Nike Bayou but of course that one will be more expensive at around uh, 200 pounds but then again you can uh, just uh, choose uh, from a lot of materials and color combination so uh, yeah guys uh, this was my unboxing and reviewing of this uh, new color combination for the Nike Air Max 97 I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days and as always i'll see you in my next one thanks for watching